They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it. You're acting like a child. Look, they're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. You can't lie and get away with it like that. Oh, and the papers y'all sent had Indian Affairs send me. Nothing's being done with that. All they did was send us a piece of paper stating the law. When I sent back the video and the text where I said, we use real bone, real glass beads, real sinew, and real leather. We never said the word authentic. The other guy did, and the lady did, but it's under my other name that is Native American. I'm not a fool, people. We called Indian Affairs last year when stats with started with all this, oh, you're not Native American, and we asked them, we gave them the information, they verified it, they verified he was 116th Cherokee, they verified the three different tribes I was in, and how much I was of each one, and she says, well, we can lock the information up, so we did, they gave us a password, we've got it in our mail lock case, and then we gave them a pass code number, you got to have both, if you call up there for Barbara and Gasport or whatever, you're not going to find nothing. Just so I don't dress in regalia every day, doesn't mean I'm not native. Just because I don't carry my card and say, oh, look, I'm registered native. You're not. I think that's vanity. You know, that's vanity to carry your card around. And I had a neighbor that did that. Oh, a native choker. Starting bid is $25 Barbara, please. for shipping. Please, Barbara. It goes up to 50 free shipping. This wolf, many more of them, and this is powwow form. Now, when she says when she says powwow form, she what she means is it is legal at a powwow. Right. You can wear this, but do not tell people you made it. They're threatening and I haven't even said anybody's name on the other side I have not say, said a troll's name but Belinda knows what's going on Al knows what's going on it's this is ongoing even when I'm in the hospital for 10 days they keep attacking and attacking and attacking even people that says they are part Native American they're even mocking the Native American cultures the sacred smudging of sage they are mocking it are they Native American I don't think so like that okay decent not the ugly, horrible lies y'all are putting out and making up. Now, our story has been the same from when we started till now. One or two words might have been different, but it's y'all, you trolls and you hackers that are doing the worst to any one of us. I hate to go to Jacob and say, Jacob, there's a new file on with my name, my picture. They even stole my logo that is copyrighted. They even stole what I put up. It's not to Clinea Wea Moonwolf. Lagaya Wea is Nani. This is my Apache name. It means white wolf woman. And Cynthia Lins put her hands together where the blood was at. And guess what? Tied it with a leather roping. And that was the engagement. But yet we're lying. People, there's so much stuff and so much truth in this book. They're scared of it. They are so, so scared of it. There's like 400 and something pages in here. This is some wooden crosses that Wolf and I did. Oh, no, y'all bought those. No, Wolf does woodworking. Right here, this is a buffalo thing we had done. And I made some patterns for my embroidery machine. I did all kinds of stuff. People run. Y'all, I was into healing stone really big when Wolf came along. I had these big old boxes that came in. A lady was selling out, so I bought them. Guess what? I overloaded myself with the power. We had to start separating. That is, guess what, people? I donated these. I made these for a powwow. I made about 12 of them with the Kosha Indian dancers, and they didn't sell, and then I made some more. This is the picture. Jacob, if you see the fake pictures and stuff, this is the picture they made me look younger. They don't show none of my moles or my little scar, and they make it move, and they say all kinds of stuff about yogi. That's when I had to cut my hair. It was down to my waist when I had shingles because we couldn't do anything. That's me. There's my grandpa. That's one half Cherokee. 
Now, do you really think the tribe would have let me put anything like this in there? All kinds of stuff. This is uh, from. I'm not a full blood harvest. I am 116th Atacapa, which is out of this area of Southwest Louisiana and Southeast Texas. I'm 116th Cherokee, and I did not know I was 14th Apache until 2008 of my life. That was 15 years ago. There's my grandpa. That's one half Cherokee. People, genealogy? Oh, wow, let's see. I only had one grandson at that time. I had Lee and then me. This is my dad. This is his mother. Her father was called Philosophe Trouvé. And there's his picture, and you can't hardly see it. He was an Atacapa Indian. That's her father. His father right here was a Takapal Indian. His father, mother, was Cherokee. And then this goes all the way back. I actually have a 40 by 46 picture I made even better than this. This was a little one my mother wanted. But the thing's taken off. They said, oh, no, you've never done any of this. Why would people have written letters about me and saying things? There's my book, Issa. That's the first one. Saying I plagiarism. Okay, this was Elton and I's wedding picture. That was one of them. There's a woman in town. Her name is Big Bad Bar. Swear she's from the tribe. Got a feather on her charm. Fakes an illness every morning. Cries wolf through the day. Claims she's fighting cancer while she's munching on some cake. She once said she's Cherokee, with stories kind of odd. But the folks who know the truth say her tales are quite flawed. She threatens with a lawsuit if you dare call her bluff. Big Bad Barb's got a heart of stone. She sure can play it rough. Oh, Big Bad Barb, what a tangle where she weaves. Lying by her life makes it hard to believe. Spinning tail so tall, she'll make you want to leave. Big Bad Barb, just let the truth. She'll tell you that she's suffering, show you scars that are fake. Say There's our wedding picture. He asked me the Wednesday. I didn't have a wedding dress. They said, you do this, this, get feathers and put there. We did what the tribe said. And I have the video of it, but I've had to put it on. I'm going to open it up. You know what? No, I, if I can get to y'all's thing, I'll send you the link. Let's see, when jo when Lee's dad left him, do you see him with any pictures with his dad? Here, these are some pictures. That was the honorary shaman that met us in Houston to do this ceremony. There's the wedding pictures. He had come back. Let's see, where is he? There he is. And he's got his belt, everything. I did this in 2009 at a ceremony. I had to play the flute at a ceremony, a Native American ceremony. And that was another one. People, I'm not lying. All this happened. All of this, look, if you don't believe me, these are, this is a Native American couple. This is me. And that's, oh, look how big she is. I don't care. Look how long my hair was. They came to me to do a blood binding on them. This is Native American people. They're wearing ribbon shirts and stuff. Oh, big bad barb, what a tangle where she weaves. Lying by her life makes it hard to believe. In a town so small, you can't hide what's true. Neighbors see through lies, no matter what you do. So, Bob, it's time to listen. No more facades, no games. Come clean, be real, and stop these foolish claims. 